going to be showing you guys how to craft Jelly's $1 million Minecraft sword. Oh my gosh, yo, that is so cool. Audience, if you guys are excited as I am, make sure you leave a like down below. This is one of Jelly's secret houses. He has many secret houses. He's actually a very good builder in Minecraft. And if you guys haven't subscribed to his channel yet, what are you waiting for? We have Slogo Man, who also films a lot with Jelly. And if you are not subscribed to him, you totally need to. I heard you are here to make the legendary $1 million Jelly sword. That is correct, Mr. Slogo Man. You are going to need to work your way up from the bottom. Oh boy, we all know what this means, don't we? The plastic toy slime sword recipe. I can't believe we're about to make a plastic sword. The first thing we've got to get is we've got to go out to these trees. And check this out, dude. This is white pine wood. I love the texture and the color. And with this, we are going to get two of the white pine sticks. Slimes, I'm so sorry, but you guys kind of are the next part of the ingredient. Now we get to turn these 18 pieces of slime into two different slime blocks to complete at least half of the recipe, I believe, for this crazy sword that we're about to craft. Okay, so I have a question, guys. Does Slogo Man normally wear this Minecraft skin? I've actually never gotten to play Minecraft as Slogo Man. The next part for this recipe, you guys are gonna find to be kind of weird, but what we do, we actually smelt the slime block. We should be good to make the first recipe. Check it out. We just need to put one of the white pine sticks inside of here with the melted slime blocks, and check it out, dude. We've got this. Oh my, this looks like the biggest piece of garbage. <laughs> I've ever wielded. This is so... Oh, what? What? Oh, um, hello? So apparently, if you use the sword to attack things, it hurts yourself. Wait a sec. Oh, I'm... Oh, dude, I'm just now seeing this. Defective sword. Every time you try to swing the sword, you have the possibility of hurting yourself. Plastic protection. The fact that the sword is made out of plastic doesn't make things any better. The sword has negative sharpness one. Dealing a mob even less damage than a wooden sword upon a hit. Then we've got sticky situation. When attacking a mob, the ground below the mob will turn into slime, and the mob's movement speed will thus decrease. This does not sound like a very good sword to me, guys. Well, that sword is nice. Congratulations. It is not nice, Logo Man. I've opened a portal outside that will bring you to the place you need to get the items. Here is the crafting recipe. Good luck. This is a 4x4 four four crafting table. Okay, how am I hurting myself when I'm not even using the sword? We only need planks and sticks. Okay, we are set on the oh dude do I really want I'm gonna put my headphones on because I feel like we're going into a dangerous area so I'm assuming it is his heist factory where we need to find this secret recipe oh my gosh he's got guards jelly's jello factory which is close we've got to go around the back side I think of the factory if we're gonna break in all right listen here I've got a question I've okay seriously I'm trying to break into the factory and, it, and like <laughs> dude I've got to dodge factory guards this is gonna be great I have a question for you viewers give me in the comments your top five favorite YouTubers. Genuinely, I am very curious, and you do not have to choose me, okay? I will not be offended. Maybe a little bit. I mean, today is my wife and I's two-year anniversary. Well, at the time I'm filming this YouTube video, it's May 12th. Where and what am I supposed to be looking for inside of this crazy slime factory? Is there supposed to be something over here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh factory guard got way too close to me. I think we've got to do some kind of nonsensical parkour, guys. I figured out where to start the parkour, guys. We are over the factory guard, so they can't see us now. Now, Oh, I see. We've got a shulker box parkour onto the slab. Oh my gosh. Iron bar jumps are my least favorite jumps. Uh, can you make a ladder jump? Okay, I'm not gonna risk the biscuit. Why is there so much parkour inside of an abandoned factory? Oh my goodness gracious. Loki, actually, I do love quad jumps, but they are so dadgum difficult. Um, maybe this factory guard is gonna be cool. We have no idea. Maybe he's a fan of the YouTube videos. Okay, we have no idea. I'm not judging a book by its... Hey, you cool? Is he okay? You're kind of wandering around aimlessly, not doing a very good job at security detail. Are these even real security guards? <laughs> like, what? Okay, I'm just gonna go into here and find- Oh, that's it. Yup! One million percent! This is the secret jello ingredient we've been needing for our recipe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Alarms triggered! Yo, you guys are not- Oh my- Okay, they're actually really fast. Hold the phone, ladies and gentlemen! These security guards went from being bots in Fortnite to being pros inside of Minecraft. Let's look at these split over here. Hey, Tata for now, ladies and gentlemen. Nice try. Wait, what if they come through the portal? Do you see this that's on the ground inside of Jelly's house? This is the Jello Mix candy. There was like six of these on the recipe, but I did somehow manage to lose the crafting recipe, which is literally one of the biggest oofs. I deserve an oof in the comments. Listen, if you're gonna leave the oof in the comment, at least make it all caps. I think it was like this. We are literally making a recipe comp- <gasps> We just did a blind recipe and managed to do it. The Jello sword, ladies and gentlemen. 
Ryan. So I think that the uh, the Jello sword is a very bad sword because when you try to use the slime ball ability, you immediately explode and die. Look at this. We've got friendly slimes. Friendly slimes. Will they kill the cat? I don't know if they'll kill the cow because he's technically a neutral mob. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Can they kill the zombie? Wait, they killed the cow. <laughs> Yo, they actually killed the cow. That was epic. Okay, slimes. Slimes, chill. chill. Okay, the slimes are fighting the zombie. Oh, the slimes do kill the zombie. Okay, this sword gets a 3 out of 10. I changed my mind because these little slimes are so cute and actually really helpful. Mr. Slogo Man, I'm just saying he would look a lot better with some fire merch on. Okay. I know, shameless plug, guys. You gotta do it. That's an upgrade. Nice work, but there's still much more to come. I've opened another portal for you to explore. Oh, great. We have another portal we're about to be exploring here, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got peanut butter and jelly items. Obviously, it makes sense because Jelly does like jelly. I mean, I don't know if he likes... No, I think he does like jelly. Hey, wait a second. Oh my gosh, the chickens are attacking me. Wait a second. They look so cute, and, and, and but, but, but what? they're actually hostile mobs. Listen here, chicken. Okay, this chicken has more health than I ever could imagine. My friendly slimes are no longer friendly. They were just attacking me right there. Did you guys see that? Friendly slimes, you guys have betrayed your master, you big monsters. Wait, how many of these do we need? I'm gonna kill two of them just for safety. We've got a chocolate sheep. Do we even... I think we need chocolate in this recipe. Okay, uh, chocolate. Chocolate sheep, come over here. Why are my slimes attacking me? Ooh, and the other thing we need is from the village. A pink village. That, oh my god, I forgot. Do not right click with your slime sword or you will spontaneously combust and explode. Peanut cow! There are peanuts on this cow, ladies and gentlemen. I do not. You guys have been loving the signed t shirts. We've got the orange signed flame tea. We also have the yellow fire brick tea signed. Go to PrestonStyles.com before they run out. Yo, sheeps, let's just calm down with your damage, okay? One thing we do need is we need wheat because we've got to make bread. Is there enough wheat here? Oh my gosh, the cows are surrounding me. Cows, don't do this. I don't like this dimension. I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm going back to Jelly's Secret House. All right, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. We have everything we need to craft this. We put the peanut into the furnace and you get roasted peanuts. So you actually put, it's so funny, you put slime balls with whole grain bread. Then you get whole grain bread with slimes. And for some reason, the whole grain changes to purple slime or pink slime. Is this pink or is this purple? I don't know which one it is, guys, but I do think that these are finally finished being crafted and roasted. If you use um, glass bottles on roasted peanuts, you get a jar of peanut butter spread. And then if you use jelly with the jars. That is how you get a jar of strawberry jelly. Actually, I'm curious what is y'all's favorite jelly of all time? My favorite jelly, personally, is going to be blackberry jam, which I guess... What is the difference between a jam and jelly? I think jam has more pieces of fruit. Yes, audience, I realize I have changed my shirts, okay? I just wanted to get into the comfortable ice cream tank top that dropped this week at PrestonStyle.com. Now look at what we have received from the good lord above, the peanut butter and jelly Minecraft sword. I bet you never thought you'd be watching a Minecraft video where we get a peanut butter and jelly sword. I, I, never, <laughs> I never thought I'd be making a Minecraft video where I would be wielding one of these. We have different abilities with this sword, of course. Press F to obtain peanuts from a food compartment in your sword. You spam it and you literally just get peanuts. And then looking at our next ability, wielding the sword, you will be able to attack twice as fast. Cow, I'm sorry, I need to test out the speed. Oh wow, this sword does whack really fast. Although this sword does like no damage. Wait a second. The third ability, when killing a mob, you'll restore one extra heart of health. If you are on full health, you will receive a golden heart. That is actually an epic ability. Even though it doesn't deal a lot of damage, I don't actually know how much damage it deals, but you do get extra hearts when you kill a mob with it. So that part is extremely epic sausages. I feel like, uh, guys, I feel like I'm letting you down today with my hair. I don't know what's happened. Um, I changed shirts and my hair is all over the place and I apologize. <laughs> Can we get a like down below for Preston having a bad hair day today? Congratulations on creating the peanut butter and jelly sword. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Slogo Mans. I still feel very uncomfortable about the pajamas you're wearing, but we'll get to that in a different time. It's no big deal. We have just gotten the recipe for the divine 
Divine Slime Sword. Finally, we are getting into some of the epic swords, ladies and gentlemen, that I have been very excited to show off to you guys. What if what if I just wore my hair like this for video recordings? What do you guys think? Is this the... <laughs> Dude, I know you guys are already capturing pictures of this and tagging me on Instagram at RealTBNRFrags. If you don't follow me already, you totally should. Yo, this is like... It's a slime dome dimension. All right, the first thing we need for this recipe, as you guys can see, we need a lot of slime. So unfortunately, I am going to have to take out a lot of these little... Wait a second. Instead of killing the slimes, I wonder if we could just break these slime blocks instead. That way we don't have to kill our slimy friends, which Jelly loves so very much. I think... Okay, these are not regular slime blocks, by the way. These are super slime blocks, which are very, very different from regular slime blocks. I will show you guys here momentarily. You know what? I am going to... Oh, I just grabbed a peanut. I forgot that you can grab peanuts from the sword. But really, are you going to stop and eat a nut in the middle of a PvP battle? Probably not the best decision. Okay, and I've made a lot of decisions in my life. Some good, some not so good. We don't need to get into the not so good ones because I'm about to absolutely beast and feast on this parkour. I mean, you ain't ever seen a Sam Houston like me. Look at me do these jumps, twirling around. Okay, I missed that jump. Hey, I almost missed the ladder too. That would have been very bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at the flick of the wrist. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that one. You saw nothing. You listen to me, audience. You guys better not go tweet that death at my Twitter, at Preston. I wish I had at Preston on on uh, Instagram. I have been unable to get that username. Maybe one of these days I'll get to change my Instagram username, because right now it's it's kind of difficult for people to find. Do I just walk off here? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay, that was actually way easier than I thought it was. What is up here? I forget. Oh, what is this? Oh, hit all the targets. Fend off the mobs. Yeah, okay, we've got to... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I know what we got to do. We've got to shoot all of these targets while wielding a bow. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This is kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. These little slimes do a lot of damage. Please, come on. It was just my anniversary. It's my wedding anniversary. Don't kill me, man. Please. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to take the high ground. Ha! Take that, you dirty little slimes. Now you guys can't hit me and I can shoot my targets in peace. And wait, one more target. Hold on. I think there's a sneaky target somewhere that we are. Wait a second. Where is this sneaky target at? Did I miss one? Am I a bot? Um, guys, I do not see a target that has not been acted. Oh, it's this one right here. Okay, yep, I'm just a bot. Never mind. Ignore what I said. We did it. We got the magical slime shard, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, look at that big jump, boys. Look at that flick of the wrist. Woo! So, wait, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I almost landed inside of the stone. That would have been a very, very, very bad thing. Yeah, it's this wood, right? Yeah, I forget the, why do I forget the name of this wood? I think it's just because it's an abnormal name. It is called, that's what it is, mahogany. Why did I forget the name of mahogany? I don't know. Behold, audience, the super slime blocks. We just need eight of these. I made nine because, you know, you can never have a little bit too much extra. Okay, looking at the recipe, mahogany logs down here. Super slime. Um, ball. No, these are super slime blocks, not super slime balls, not to be confused. Then we put the slime shard over here, and boom, sausages, we got the divine jelly slime sword. <laughs> Yo, this thing doesn't even look like a sword. It looks like, um, like, it kind of just looks like a shard. This thing's got some really cool abilities, though. I can't wait to show over you guys. Jelly transformer. Hitting a mob with a sword will transform it into a slime. Bouncy boots. When wielding the sword, you can fall from high and bounce on any blocks, whether this is a slime block or not. That is so handy. Explosive slime. Your inventory will be refilled with an explosive large slime spawn. Upon spawning the slime, the slime will explode two to three seconds later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn this and see how much damage it does. Um, um, it's not exploding? Hello? Okay, I don't know. This exploding slime is not... Do you have to kill him to explode? Okay, I think my exploding slime is broken. That is okay. <laughs> don't ask me how I got all the way up here, but I'm testing out the bouncy ability. Yo, that is so... No more fall damage, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this. You can like keep a bouncy pattern the entire... This is actually a very, very useful feature that I think people overlook. And if I hit any kind of mob, I can turn them into a slime. Look at this cow. Look at him. Boom. Turned into a slime. Although I don't know if you'd want to turn your cows into slimes, but I guess like if you need slime balls, this is a very handy sword to have around. All right, Mr. Slow Go Man. What you got for me next, baby cake? Come on, let me see that. You are pretty good at this. I think you need a challenge. Fortunately, I don't remember the crafting recipe for this next sword. Looks like it's up to you for now. Safe travels. Okay, thanks for nothing, Slogo. And it doesn't help that the portal for this sword looks to be the most deadly of them all. Oh, great. I am now in the nether with way more magma blocks than I ever remember. Um, 
Guys, so there's a problem. I don't know if you guys noticed this. The lava is rising as we speak. The portal that we just came into is now completely covered in lava and there are these very luminant jelly mushrooms. Okay, chief. So I don't know exactly what I need to do here. I'm going to collect the mushrooms because uh, we don't even have a recipe. So basically, I am just going to collect everything I see and hope that we manage to get the right... Are those peanuts? Why are there so many peanuts? There are now growing peanuts in the nether. That is, uh... <laughs> what do we even say to that, dude? Audience, I have found this. I've never seen one of these in the nether before in my entire life. I'm assuming I need all of these items. Oh, wait, did I just find the... I found the crafting recipe. I don't know if this is going to help us, so I'm going to scoop up everything I can out of the nether and try to find my way back to uh, Jelly's house, because, dude, this is crazy. What are these? Oh, okay, okay, there's lava there. Let's, uh, let's not touch that. Oh, nether wart? I think I'm gonna need that for this recipe. Yikes! We're not gonna talk about how I managed to get out of the nether there. However, I did forget to do one thing. You basically have to milk magma cubes with bottles, and that is how you get the magma slime fluid. Anyways, going back over to here, we can now craft the divine magma sword. So it's like this. Uh, wait, do we have our buckets of lava? Oh my gosh, I only have one bucket of lava. Okay, I, <laughs> I now have two buckets of lava. I don't know how I managed to miss that. So we've got our four luminant jelly mushroom thingamajigger boppers. Then we've got our two odd bricks that are going inside of here with our two lava bouquet. Then we are going to put our magma bulb slime thing. What are these even called? Again, they are called magma slime fluids and you get the divine magma sword. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Not only is it made out of slime, but it also has lava inside of it. And as a man who loves slime and lava, I gotta say this is my favorite looking sword so far. When attacking a mob, a ring of fire forms around the mob and expands hitting any other nearby mob, setting them on fire. Lava Absorber absorbs lava around you in a four block radius, also receives regeneration when absorbing lava. Then you've got Burning Rage. Press F to enable a short period, 10 seconds, where your attack damage dealt by your sword increases by double. Double the ring of fire! That might be the coolest sword effect we've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen, in all of Minecraft. Holy guacamole! That ring of fire is a very large ring. Ooh, activated burning rage! Look at this, guys! We have speed. Look how fast we are. Burning rage, we are super fast. Cow, I'm- Oh my gosh, we just one-shot that entire cow! And then, of course, we gotta test out the lava absorption. Look at this! I'm absorbing lava! Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time! We have every single sword in our inventory right now. It is time for us to get our final crafting recipe so we can make the ultimate million dollar slime sword. Congratulations, you have made it to the final sword. The final portal has opened and this time there's a twist. No crafting recipe. I think you should be able to figure it out. It has been a pleasure. Well, let me tell you something. Has it been a pleasure? Yes, but has it been a difficult journey? It has been a very difficult journey, guys. Where, um, oh gosh, um, I've got a really bad feeling about this, guys. I see something down here in the bottom middle that says time until the next effect three seconds what does that mean also there is some kind of oh that is what the effect means Okay, so these are not good effects that are happening to our Minecraft character. They are very, very bad effects. Oh, 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 that's lightning. Okay, so let's not get struck by lightning. I am uh, going to what appears to be like a giant cathedral slash castle. I don't even know what to call this. Oh, TNT. Oh, no TNT. TNT almost just took me out right there. So, um, creepers and cows are now spawning from me. Let, wait, did the cows just attack? Oh, these are dead. Okay, those are not normal cows, ladies and gentlemen. Those are attack cows, and they are very deadly. All right, cows, I've come back for revenge. Cows, I'm sorry to do this to you, but actually I'm not because you guys kind of killed me, but maybe it's payback I deserve because I did kill a lot of cows in this episode. I'm sorry, my bovine friends, but I've got to leave. Hey, TNT, stop spawning inside of here. Ooh, we've got pedestals for our swords. Ooh, sword added, sword added. Another one, another one, another one. The last and final sword, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. The final million dollar sword is spawning right before our eyes. Can we grab it? Yes, we can. Dude! The legendary jelly um, that cow is so dead. Army of slimes. Press F to spawn an army of friendly slimes. Go, my slimes! Go! 
<laughs> Look at the slimes we've got. Yeah, kill those killer cows. The next ability is Holy Strike. When attacking a mob, a holy light will come from above and evaporate the entire mob. Then we've got Invincibility. You obtain an additional 10 gold hearts and take zero damage. Oh my gosh, yo, that is so cool. Look at this. It launches them into the sky and basically just explodes them. Take this, you demon cows. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Click either one of these videos YouTube is recommending to you, and I will see you all in my next brand new video.